Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to take a quick look at Peppermint OS 4 which was released a few weeks ago. So let's take a quick look at uh, what is offered in the menus here. I did remove the game so the menu collapsed so you don't see that. I removed Pixlr which was a uh, web-based HTML editor. Uh, I'd prefer GIMP personally and uh, that's kind of the point of Peppermint OS. You can use web-based applications like Pixlr and, and Google Drive if you want, but you can also install LibreOffice, you can install GIMP, you can install Inkscape, you can install all these uh, traditional Linux applications without any problem. And how they accomplish the, uh, the web apps is very simple really. Go ahead and just type in your URL here or copy and paste it from the web browser. And uh, you can either select the icon from your uh, file manager, or you can, if it's not an HTTPS site, you could download the icon. And it will automatically show up in whatever menu you decided to drop this in. Super quick. It'll link to the URL. URL. It'll also remember the window size you had it on the last time you had it open, which is really cool. So little details like that that are kind of useful. Now I suppose you could say that that's probably a part of um, Chromium. Maybe not. Now you could also remove the apps just as easily. So you go in there and click on it, remove it. You could also edit these manually through the um, file manager. Go ahead and uh, show hidden files in PC Man FM. And where they keep these uh, web apps is very simple. It's a uh, local share applications. And so you've got all the applications available right here. So you can either launch them directly. And in this case, I uh, put a... Uh, um, web app link to my uh, WordPress admin panel or you can edit them so for instance I've got a piano bar um, shortcut which which does work as an application but I'm finding that there is an LXDE glitch I'm not sure if it's specific to LXDE or Ubuntu um, Peppermint OS possibly, but if you go into um, where did I put that? I have sound and video. It will seize up. It will not even give you the uh, Linux terminal, so or, or the command prompt. Or, but it does very much work. And while I'm doing this, you can see I'm only using 482 megabytes of RAM, which is great because there's a lightweight Linux distribution. You could use it on a thin client, an old, uh, like a fit PC, drop that in behind a high definition television, use this as a media platform, uh, use it for uh, Netflix via Wine if you want to install that, uh, watch movies, listen to music, do everything you would on a Chromebook on a laptop, on a smart television, all wrapped into one lightweight Linux distribution. And uh, it's actually pretty responsive, partly because they offer um, XFCE window uh, managing and effects. So you can actually, you know, use the docking effects if you want to, which is something you can't do in native LXDE. So that's pretty cool too. So, I mean, you get kind of the best of both worlds. You can either go with the uh, cloud computing or the traditional Linux computing in a um, lightweight Linux uh, distribution. Anyway, I really love this Linux distribution. Certainly one of my favorites. 
Uh, I actually do prefer it over Lubuntu simply because they uh, have ICE pre-installed. However, you could always create your own shortcuts and put them into your uh, LXDE menu within Lubuntu anyway. That's totally possible. But why do that when you have this uh, wonderfully designed uh, distribution available for a quick download over on their website? So while I'm at it, let me show you their web page really quick. Go over here, download the ISO for your computer. Follow them on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google+. Maybe check out their forums. Although I do have one gripe about these web apps. You cannot seem, I, I can't seem to find a way to grab the location bar. Oh, actually there is a trick there. I hit a shortcut for history. Oh, it opened a new window. So I would suggest not maybe linking this to a secure uh, web page like uh, maybe your banking account because you won't be able to check to see uh, that little HTTPS uh, link if that's something you're concerned about when uh, computing um, on the web. Just go ahead and just uh, app pin it if you want to. Alright, well thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.